It's a long one. Right, so the idea was take a few months off, come back a changed person. <laughs> it's not been six months, but you know, am I a changed person? No! <laughs> I feel, I feel, I'm healthier, I'm, I'm happier, but I'm always, I'm always happy. I know I'm main, I'm moaning like a drake, but I am happy. I'm just, just like moaning, you know. I know, I suppose it, the break's been good for me, but the problem is now I've got out of the habit of recording. So um, I can't see it. <laughs> I can't see me coming back as prolifically as I was before. So has anything changed? I don't think so. I think you can all guess where I'm off to now. I think one thing has changed is that um, before I was always like half an hour early for everything and now I'm like two minutes late for everything <laughs> because it was just like, why am I stressing myself out to get so... I was just like OCD on being late because my father's terrible. You know, we'd all be sitting in the car to go out and he's just getting in the bath. You know, it's... Um, yeah, so I've tried to cut that a bit, and I'm on time for the gym, but if I don't, if I, if I dawdle, I'm not going to be there on time, but it doesn't matter, you know, if, if, I, if I'm waiting for, a, if I'm meeting a friend, it does matter, you know, if I say 10 o'clock, it's 10 o'clock, I will be there at 10 too, you know, their time's valuable just as mine is, but with the gym, you know, it's the gym. I'm booked in for 12. If I get there at two minutes past 12, they wouldn't have started. I still get my stretches in, so, you know, I'm not going to be six hours late for it. But now I'm uh, chirpy and chipper and, yeah, got insulted twice in the gym last week. <laughs> two new members. That, anyway. Anyway, that's nothing. It doesn't matter. It's their problem. It's not mine. So yeah, so after the gym, hopefully I'm going to be giving blood. I'm booked in for quarter past two, but I've taken a couple of iron tablets this week. Fingers crossed I'm not going to sit there for an hour and they're going to say no. And then I've got improv rehearsal uh, in Arundel. And also something really exciting happened. I wrote a 10 minute play, which I entered into a scratch night to be read by uh, professional actors. And mine got picked. It's called The Grave. And yeah, I couldn't film any of it, obviously. But that was really exciting. See, that was read by actors. And they're doing another scratch night in November, uh, which is Halloween Spooky. And I'm trying at the moment to write another one uh, called the Last of the, Gro the Last of the Ghost Rides. Two elderly women sitting on a ghost ride that's broken down, and there's something else in there with them. But this is more comedic. The grave one wasn't comedic. So yeah, I don't know, but I, I'm, I'm struggling with this one at the moment. It's very difficult to write things that are funny. But I'll get there, I'll get there. It might not be ready for the November scratch night, but we'll see. Yeah, so life's good, you know, it's exactly the same. It would have been different if I'd have won the lottery and I decided that I'd take the car up to Scotland and start traversing myself back, which is what I'd really love to do. If I wasn't working, if I wasn't doing a lot of things really. I mean, I would take a year off the gym, I wouldn't like it. But now that I've re rejoined David Lloyd, you are entitled to go to other David Lloyd, so I could go to the gym. But you know, it wouldn't happen because I'd be too busy enjoying myself. <laughs> Come back six stone ever. But that's life, right? You've got to live it. Doesn't matter, does it? Doesn't matter. Do people really care if you're a stone overweight? I don't think they do. 
Most people are a stone overweight or a stone underweight, which is probably even worse. Can you imagine being so thin that you can't put on weight? That must be, that's traumatic, right? So they complain about being fatties. Right. Oh God, I'm happy now. I won't be so happy when I come out after the gym. I put my hoodie on and I'm fecking boiling. They said thunderstorms today, but I think they're coming in later. So, providing on the weather, if the weather's horrendous, then I'm not gonna drive to Arundel tonight. It's along a dual carriageway. And if it gets a little bit windy along there, in my little car, I tell you, I did go back onto match.com. I think it's because I'm bored. I just like window shopping. But I only go on until three o'clock in the morning and then I suspend my account so nobody can see it. But the problem is in that time, I've had four messages and one's from a 72 year old. I don't stand a lot of chance, do I? <laughs> but the interesting thing, which I found, all the same blokes on there. Now I've been on and off match for three years, had two dates, both really nice guys, and they were really nice guys, just not for me. And I wasn't for them, so that's fine. But um, yeah, the, the, it's all the same blokes. But I go on and off spas sp sporadically, spasmodically, that word. And um, because you could say, well, you're always on there. Well, yeah, I am, but I'm on and off it. But these guys have been on it suddenly, for so solidly, suddenly, solidly for three years. And two of them are wrong -uns. Two of them are definitely wrong -uns. Anyway. So anyway, my, my account's suspended again until I get bored and then I'll go on again at three o'clock in the morning because I'm not sleeping. I've actually got sleeping tablets now, but I took one last night. I got me off to sleep, which was lovely. I mean, my watch says I slept for nine hours, 31 minutes. I fucking didn't. I might have been laying down for that time, but I want to sleep. Just wake up all the time. I think I was on four o'clock this morning I was on match and there's still people on there are people like me that can't sleep but I didn't I was just scrolling I didn't look at anybody's profiles I can't be asked it's not that actually that many people on there now I think people are just like nah it's not working is it it's just not working anyway what are we on nine minutes 44 should we make it 10 and then I'll bugger off What should I talk about? Why did the pervert cross the road? Could get his cock out the chicken. Oh, it's an oldie piece of goodie. <laughs> right, I'll see you later. And there's Connor. Say hi, Connor. Hi. Huh? Who's that? Hello. <laughs> That's Connor. So, give him blood. I uh, got in there, didn't have to wait too long, quarter past two I think my appointment was and it is now, oops, that's my driving glasses, what time is it now, come on, get away, quarter past three. Go in there and I thought, oh, please let me give blood this time because obviously last time I think it was on the video, I'm not sure. Um, I couldn't, I waited over an hour and 50 minutes and uh, I had iron deficient, deficiency, so that's fine. They can't because it's not safe for me. So, anyway, I did the old finger test and everything, and it was all good. And I said, Oh, great, that's good. And um, they sat me down, put me in the chair, couldn't find the vein, which they can't often. Um, and then she did find it, and then my arm just went <laughs> massive bruise. It got a hemoglobin. 
So they had to remove the needle really quickly and I can't give blood <laughs> because I'd get a blood clot. <sighs> so that's the second time running. But like she says, she does, you know, I don't need a blood clot in my arm and I need to be able to use my arm for the rest of my life. So as disappointing as it is, um, they've sent me away again. It is what it is. So now, I don't know whether you want to come with me or not. I'm going to go to the co-op, no not the co-op, I'm going to the superstore. Probably Tesco's. Oh, that's nice and tight. And uh, I'm going to buy some stuff to make some borage. Is it borage? 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 I don't know what it's called. Some overnight oats. Um, because then I can have something decent to eat in the mornings. I, I'm eating pretty well at the moment. I'm getting my calories up. I'm getting my protein up. Um, but I'm just fed up of eating toast all the time. I love my Marmite toast, as you know. But I need something. I don't want to have toast in the mornings necessarily if I'm going to have toast in the evening. So I'm going to make some beerage or borage. I don't know what it's called. But I've got to get stuff. I've got the oats and stuff. But my instructor, Connor, who you've just seen, um, gave me a recipe. So I'm going to go and get go and get the stuff and I'm not going to improv tonight now because the weather's coming in really bad later on it started it started already it's quite windy and it started to rain um, so yeah and the other the other chaps are like no I, I have to drive the furthest but, um, but the other chaps are like no maybe not so no that's fine I'm quite happy that we're not going tonight so I'm going to make some make some porridge when I get home and I'm going to actually do some writing because I can't remember whether I've mentioned it. I probably have because I talk for England. I'm working on another 10 minute play, which I'm enjoying because I've made it more comical. Um, I want to try and get a bit of a handbag fight in there if I can. And I'm actually thinking of me playing the role of one of them and my, my improv partner, Joe, play the other one because it would be really funny. I mean Joe is not very good at remembering lines because we have menopausal brain fog. Ooh, hold on. Um, told you to hold on right? God. You were rubbish. <laughs> Della's driving again. Um, but it's one of those ones if you get the right cues in the right place you could actually improvise it. Um, which would actually be quite funny I think. Joe's a very, very good actress. I'm not a bad actress. Joe's a very good actress. So I'd, I'd like to do. I'd like to perform it with her. Um, anyway, I haven't finished writing it yet. But hopefully, she's going to come to the scratch tonight, like she did last time. And because um, she liked my other play, The Grave, even though um, a couple of the sentences were missed out, so it made it a little bit not quite uh, as clear as it could have been. But I was happy with how they read it. They were good readers, so yeah, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to do that tonight. And I'm going to um, edit this video so that I can get it up sooner rather than later. Can you hear the rain? Yeah, it started. But my, it's warm. But it usually is before a thunderstorm. Oh, what's this traffic? It's like it's stopped both sides. Oh, traffic lights. I knew I shouldn't have come this way. Bum dicky wee wee. No way off the road now either. Shit. Never mind. So, disappointment all round. Couldn't give blood. Now in traffic. Welcome to the south coast. Right moving a little bit but not a lot. I shall. Hmm. How come we're on a red green light but other people are coming through? That doesn't make sense does it? Huh? Hmm. That doesn't make sense. 
lights at all. In actual fact, I think I'll go this way. Oh, good. I didn't crash. <laughs> and there's a lollipop lady. Don't run her over. She's cute. <laughs> Look at her in her high vis. <laughs> right. Yeah. Here comes the rain again. Falling on my head like a memory. Falling on my head like an emotion. Ooh. Right, anyway, before I go too far. Do what I tell you. Living on the south coast, it doesn't matter which road you take. You're gonna get hit by traffic. But sometimes you think to yourself, Jesus Christ, if people just drive a little bit better, or drove, sorry, there wouldn't be such a, a snarl up, would there? Just a little bit of patience, that's all it takes. You're welcome, thank you, meet you later. And you're coming straight through, I can tell in your Mercedes. You're welcome, don't worry about me. Nobody ever says thank you, that's, that's what annoys me. You try and make things easy, not one fucker says thank you. <sighs> but it's fine. I'm not in a hurry, am I? Go on then. Ah, oh, he said thank you, we like that. And then there's a lollipop man. hit rush hour with the kids and I so this afternoon's been a bit of a disaster really but hey Ooh, oh god 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 which way am I going to go left or right I really want to go right but then that takes me into more traffic but this left is traffic oh my god Just smile at people. They're either grumpy wazzocks or they're really nice. They're like, oh look, she's cheeky. Doesn't always work. Oh god, I need a wee now. You going? No, you're not going. Okay, I'll go then. Ha ha ha! Wow, that was hard work. Even getting into the parking place proves to be a pain in the feckin' arse. Anyway, I'm here now. I'm at Tesco's. Wanna come? Well, yeah, come in anyway. Whether you like it or not. My arm's really stinging now. I'll show you the bruise later. Now, have I got my list? Yeah, can't go anywhere than that list. Yeah, got my list. Blueberries. Fancy some blueberries. I'll have a look at their frozen fruit as well for my smoothies. I've got lots to buy. I've got to buy some opt optimum nutrition later on as well because I'm running out of shakes. I go for the fancy flavours and then don't like them. So just stick to the plain. Right. Everybody's looking at me because I'm a bit of a dick. You already knew that. Okay, here we go. God, this is gonna be boring for you, right? I don't think I'll bother. What do you reckon? There's too many people in here. And I'm gonna get confused and forget what I'm buying. And you might see a little bit of trolley rage going on. I am that woman who has just seen a big bag of Maltesers. 275 fun size no do I look fun oh cool um, anyway Tesco's here I come so this is what gets me right I bought one of these do you remember I think you were with me TK Max didn't I what's it I think it was 9 9.99 9.95 
14 pounds in Tesco's. With club card, it is 9.30. But if you didn't have a club card, it's 14 quid. I succumbed. 275, I bought two packets. There is a reason. Because sometimes when I'm laying in bed and I wake up and I think, oh, I fancy something a little bit sweet. If it's a mini pack, I can't overeat them, can I? A couple of those, I'm done. We'll see if it works. Winner, winner. Maltese a dinner. Oh, yes. And typically, I've got the wobbliest trolley with the loudest wheels. I can't control it. My life, eh? My life. Well, that's not a bad little shop, considering I only went in for nuts. There we go. Coffee, 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 coffee. Yeah. Creative, yeah. And I don't have a bag, because I'm a knob. So I divided it in two, because the bleach and some of the coffee and that's for work. Go on, how much? It's disgraceful, really. One was 44 pounds something. And my one, 55 something. That's a hundred pounds worth in there. And it's gonna take two bags to fill up. It's not right, is it? Anyway. <coughs> oh my God, I'm gonna die. Uh, let me fill my car up and uh, I'll get back to you. Poorer, I might add. Oh, I don't know when that's recording. I tell you, this Keith and Elfie lark, it's bloody expensive. There we go. I'll show you my bruise. Yeah, I'll show you my bruise later. I've got it now. Oh, what time is it? God, 20 past four. How did that happen? Right, you might go sliding about, you know, my driving. Huh. Um, oh, car. Oh, Mercedes as well. Don't want to hit that. Um, yeah, I'm going to go home and see if I can do this borage or whatever successfully. I doubt it because I'm not very good at things like that. But I'm not going to know unless I try, am I? I'm sure it'll be fine. It's only freaking cold porridge, isn't it? Oh, my arm's stinging. It's so tough. Oh, and the traffic's still on. Gee, it's really dangerous for me to go to bloody Tesco's. And I bought two lots of bananas and they were reduced a pack. There were six, six, not a pack because they're not in plastic. I tried to avoid plastics. Um, a bunch of six reduced to 38p. Thanks very much because it doesn't matter to me. I just um, peel them, cut them in half and freeze them. And then they go in my smoothies in the morning. So they're actually be fine. Because I thought, oh, I'll try freezing them because most of the time my bananas go off before I can eat them. I try freezing it because I've seen somebody use frozen bananas, use frozen bananas, but I've never been able to find them. Actually, I didn't look at the frozen fruits, which was a bit silly of me. But I, I do have more than enough stuff. I don't have to keep buying. Uh, yeah, so I thought I'd try freezing the bananas, thinking they'd go black or something, but they didn't. Just like a frozen banana. Fantastic. So I recommend that for your smoothies because not only that, it acts a bit like ice as well, doesn't it? It's not as cold if you if you don't put the ice in, but it still does the job. Cold enough, especially when you've got one of those thermos uh, type sippy cups that I've got. Keeps it cold or keeps it hot, depending on what drink you've got in there. Well, I really need a wee. I could have gone in there, but trolley by then, I'm not taking that in the loop. And I'm not going to David Boy tonight because I've been going in there to sit down and do some work but and I was gonna I was going to and then I was gonna shoot straight up to Arundel because it's just as quick to go from David Boyd onto the top road but 
You're all okay? Hope so. Because I'm bloody marvellous at the moment. Can't guarantee it's going to last. Next video you're going to gonna see me and I'm probably like close to slit my wrists. <laughs> no, no, I won't. I won't. I'll jump off the pier instead. That seems less painful. I won't, I won't. I'm joking. It's not, I should be joking about it. It's not funny. But it's a dark humour I've got. I apologise. I am what I am. Don't intentionally offend people, but obviously I do. Fourth. You know I love you all. Oh, I've got leftover curry tonight. That'd be nice. Chicken ticker with rice. Dry chicken ticker. So I'll have the chicken cold, obviously, because I'm not going to reheat that. Shouldn't reheat rice, apparently, but I always do. Never had a problem. But now I've said that, I will be dead tomorrow. Oh, my God, this has gone downhill. I won't be dead tomorrow, because I've got to go to work. You know what work's like? Come in. You're dead? Come in. Don't care if you're dead. Oh, that's a nice car. Look at the colour of that. Oh, you can't see it. Beautiful. Burnt orange. Dull metallic. Fantastic. That was lovely. Oh my god, I'm so old. <laughs> well, I got them. I didn't get biscuits. Oh my god, they're going to be See, that's the thing. I don't think about buying things like that. I didn't get milk either. Oh, heck. Hopefully, there'll be milk. If there's not, I'll have to go and get some. See, I don't drink milk. I don't think about it. I drink uh, uh, almond milk. Uh, 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 almond milk. There you go. There's a song. And I drink oat milk. But only in a smoothie because I have black tea and coffee. So I don't think about buying milk. And they go, God, you're so selfish. Not selfish. I'm completely thoughtless. It's the truth. Nearly am. I haven't died. Fantastic. <coughs> Speed bumps. Oh, you're really glad I'm back, aren't you? <laughs> oh, God. I've got two types of Toblerone in there as well. I've got the citrusy one and I've got an almond one. Because I couldn't find a, a dark chocolate that I thought would be nice on my porridge, so... I thought I'm going to cut one of the Toblerones and then I saw one of the Toblerones was almonds so I thought well there's nuts my line of thinking that's healthy got nuts in it moving went around the corner I am here oh god I'm going to reverse now hold your breath grind me a pound right let's go let's go 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 to be honest with you, I actually fancy cheese on toast with ketchup, but I've got curry. I'll show you how I make my porridge now, and I find out I've been saying that completely wrong, but that is how it is. So guys, come through to my kitchen, and yes, that is a euphemism. Right, so I've got everything ready, got my coffee, but I'm not being funny, it's a cappuccino and it only comes to there. set everything up I'll show you hang on a second so this is all the stuff I'm going to use yeah not all of that just a tiny amount there's my 60 grams of oats and on here is my uh recipe because I can't remember the recipe that's creatine there but I put that in my smoothie yes yeah, so um I've got dad's just nicked too but I've got these right so right, five, five in a bunch. They were reduced, I forgot to show you. Reduced. So, oh, yeah, pence. And all I do is peel them, chop them in half, and freeze them. Mm -hmm. So look at that. 
They've been frozen for a couple of weeks. They're all right, aren't they? In your smoothie. Boom. So I'm going to do those in a minute. But first, I've got to read what I've got to do. Oh, close this door again. What I've got to do to make my borage. So there's 60 grams. Connor said there's 60 grams of oats, which I've just weighed out. Uh, blend of scoop of protein powder of a choice with around 80 to 100 ml of milk. His favourite is chocolate peanut butter. No. But I've got salted caramel, which I don't like very much because it's quite sweet, but it might be all right in this. I'll just give it a go. Mix your liquid and oats together. Ideally, you still want to see your oats once we have, once you've mixed and they are not drowning, but each to your own. Add your toppings, which is my blueberries and my nuts, which I'm going to chop up. I've got some dried mango and I've got some seeds, sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds. And I also just remembered, I have some figs. But don't not work for me, those. Well, his girlfriend bought them for him and he doesn't like figs, so he's given them to me. So I can chop those up uh, and then add your dark chocolate, which I couldn't get. So I'm going to add a little bit of this, not all of it. That will probably last me about six months, but hey, who knows? Who cares? I've got the citrus one as well. Um, mm, and then put it in the fridge overnight. So let's go. I haven't got a tub to put in. Anyway. Yeah, so I've got the plant-based salted caramel, which I'm going to use, but I've also got these that need using up. So I've got a turmeric super blend food. So they're not really shakes. They are like nutrition things you put. Um, well, they are shakes, but they're not shakes. Apple and cinnamon and blueberry and banana. So I'm thinking, I was going to say turmeric, but seeing as I've got blueberries going in, I'm going to put half a scoop of that in as well. Because um, then that gets that used up. Otherwise, they're just sitting in my cupboard doing nothing. And these are actually quite decent. And they've got oats in them as well. They're, they're nice, but I think um, they're just a little bit willy-nilly. So I'm going to add this. Oh, hang on. Scoop to my... Oats. Let me turn you around again. Honestly, trying to get you set up on the tripod without ringing emergency, ringing anybody. It's a joke. Right, so then that goes in there. I don't know whether you're catching this or not. But this can't go any higher. Mm -mm. Well, oh, low battery it's saying, but you can bugger off. Go away. Well, this is turning out to be a nightmare. Low battery, my ass. Well, no, it is a low battery, but there you go. And I'll do a little bit of that one in there. And then, oh, how many of water was it? 60 to 80 mil. So, did, 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 80 mil. And I like <laughs> caught it. I like this one. Can you see that? No, because I can't see you. Right, get that out of the way. There, I like this one. Cool, blimey, that was a good save, wasn't it? I probably should put this in a bowl rather than mix it in here, but I'm not going to. 80 to 100 mil, it said, so I'm going to do 100 because that's easier. It's not very much, is it? Probably a bit too much. Doesn't look very much. And then mix that up. I would if I could find a mixing spoon. I was looking for a That's because I've added extra powder there, and I so I'm probably going to need more milk in there because that's really dry isn't it yeah i'm just going to do a bit at a time because i actually do like it quite 
wet. Excuse me. It smells lovely. But this isn't going to be one portion. Um, Connor probably can eat all this in one go, but I won't be able to. I'm going to have that in two. That's going to be two portions there. Looks vile. There, I think that's enough. Perfect. So that. is the main mix there we go let's get this out of the way because no my luck I'll pour that all over my laptop and now let's drop up the nuts and fruits oh that's that stay there. I don't know whether you can see me or not because I can't see what I'm filming. Hopefully that's in there. Are you in? Whoa, let's take you back a little bit. Can always cut it. Got these, got these. I put, I put those in a hole. Where's my coffee? There's my coffee. You fuck coffee? What else was I going to cut up? Oh, the chocolate. So. so this is my mango. And I think the mango because it's dried I'm going to sprinkle it in and that I don't know whether you can see it because like I said I can't see you never done a cooking one before not done cooking right so those Brazil nuts. See if I cut myself, you see it live. There's a high probability. Calorific, though, it must be quite high, mustn't it? Cashew nuts. Because obviously, nuts are quite high. Be an easier way. Well, that's that pumpkin seeds. They can go on hold, as can the sunflower seeds. Do you know what? I don't think I'm going to put the chocolate on because I don't think it's going to need it. Or should I just go all in? Hate these things. Sometimes they open, sometimes they don't. Oh, you fecker. Tear here. Yeah, all right. And a few of them. Right, little bowls. I must have some. What we got? What we got? What we got? Oh, that's perfect, but I've only got one. out of the shop. Here we go. What are these? What are these? What are these? Oh, there's another one. Perfect. Which is really annoying. 
Right. Ooh, looks vile. I think there's more. There's probably three portions. Yep, three portions. Yum, yum. Right, nasty. And then some nuts and seeds. I'll do those two, and then I might do another one with chocolate on top. Battery's gonna run out, but that is how it is. Right, hopefully I've got two more. There we go. Tastes a bit sweet to me. But if I put, that's why the dark chocolate really, I guess. I probably will be better with the chocolate on it. There you go. So. Right, chocky, chocky, chop, chops. Let's go for that. Ooh. And here comes my Toblerone. Are you in shot? I really don't know. Oh, a couple more bits there. Why it's not want not? It's just shut that door. Huh? So don't shut that door. It just shows you how dirty those windows are. Oh, does it? <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. Oh, they don't smell. Oh, good. Because they did smell. Mm. Oh, well, that's nice. Put your nighty on, hopefully. Yeah, put the nighty on. And I'm going to have a pot noodles. Oh, are you indeed? Mm. Good to yourself. I bought some yesterday because I thought they're useful if you... So I think this is... Yours, I'll get you two. Chicken out, so it okay. You, you know, you could warm it through, but no, I'll be all right, cold. Yes. Well, I'll do it in a minute if you like. Know. Okay, um, and obviously, there's curry there. Do you want a bit of table run? Quite a lot there. Okay, oh, look vile yeah I'll edit that a little bit but um I'm sure um my PT instructor eats all of that as one uh, I've made four it, it's I licked my fingers and it was very sweet um uh, excuse my mum she always comes in when I'm filming and she always says oh I'm gonna get my clothes off she means she's putting her light on I forgot those, didn't I? So I'm going to put them on top. Battery's about to die. So, bear with. I think probably I've overdone it. What, three each? I don't know. So it's got mango seeds, uh, chocolate. It's got everything in it. And then I just cover this up with a bit of cling film. I'll see if I get some of those... Um, tough things that come into the shop that don't require clean film. There, 
Yum, yum, in my tum. We do a test tomorrow. Mmm, blueberries are nice. The only problem is mum now knows I've got Toblerone. Can't put that in the fridge, it'd be gone tonight. <coughs> She'll wake up with bits of foil stuck to her face. <coughs> they say kids are bad at stealing sweets. Oh no. Right, I'm going to tidy up. I'm going to chop these up and put them in a tub. So that that's all ready. I've got to do my bananas, bananas, bananas. So literally, all I do is peel them. Get all the nasty bits off. That go in the composter. Cut me off. With added bits of Toblerone chocolate, as you can see. Lucky I wasn't cutting fish. And then put them in my bag and freeze them. All ready for my smoothies. Natural fact, I think I'll get a bit smart and I'll freeze the blueberries as well. Why not? They'd be nice in a, in a smoothie, won't they? And I didn't do a fig, but I think I've got enough in there. Already too much. See you in a meal when I do the unveiling. Oh yeah. Thinking about it. Sorry, thinking about it. I should have put in some chia seeds as well, but I didn't. They're sort of like, that's like tapioca. So when I put it in my smoothie, they're still a bit seedy because I don't give them time. But if you leave them overnight, it turns like a tapioca texture, which I quite like because I like tapioca and, um, no, I don't like tapioca, I'm lying. I like semolina and uh, rice pudding. Tabioca not so great, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it in my smoothies. But that's next time. So there, right, all done. Just need to chop up my nuts, put the banana skins in the composter before that rain comes in. I'll get out there and do that now. Want to come with me? Literally, the battery's about to die. So. We may get halfway there. Oop, one handed. May get halfway there and um it'll go black. Look at the garden. It's getting a tomato plants. Lovely tomatoes. They look scabby like they got the plague, but they taste nice. <laughs> Dude, you missed it. I told you it was gonna go black, didn't I? I bloody walked in with a cobweb. <laughs> I just screamed the cul-de-sac down. <laughs> Fuck off, great spider. Belly like that. He stayed up in the corner. Thank God. Oh, my. You know it spiders were all your face? No. You bloody missed it. That would have been hilarious. Right, so I'm changed into my... I've got my clothes off, as my mother would say. And uh, I've got my dinner courtesy of my lovely friend Ange because we went out for a curry the other night and she ordered stuff and she goes Dale can't eat it so I thought right she goes take it home will you because I'm not flying back with it look look at that yummy so that rice and the potatoes are hot you can see it's steaming chicken's cold and I'm about to do some uh editing hopefully uh editing this and I might. What day is it today? Oh, it's Tuesday. Do I wait until Sunday or do I just put it straight up? I'll probably wait until Sunday. Try and keep some sort of. Oh, I apologise. My phone is so low on battery that it just keeps dying on me. And I've got a pink light on again, as you can tell. I've been a really good girl. I've been working out my calories and my protein. And um, the gym have given me a thing to fill out here which I've been doing religiously. I'm being really careful. 
um considering i was somebody that barely ate like 100 100 i don't know sorry not 100 a thousand calories a day um a couple of these 2247 calories which is too high but others are like five one thousand five hundred and thirty three but i've really got my calorie intake up but most importantly i have got my protein up i mean two mondays ago i only did 63 grams of protein but an another time i did 177.4 grams of protein because i've now got a protein drink as the powder which um i put in <coughs> and i use as my um my exercise drink uh which makes my, i drink two liters of water a day sleep's not great i have got um some sleeping tablet things i took half last night but i still woke up nearly i slept i felt fell to sleep better um and I, I woke up and i was actually a bit tired um but i felt i felt more refreshed so that's okay shall we oh here come off i know you're sp supposed to leave the plaster on oh overnight but i can't because i'll get a funny reaction yeah nice bruise can you see the bruise coming it's actually a little bit puffy that's where the needle went in and the bruise came here. Don't know whether you can see it. We'll have a look at that in the morning. But I couldn't give blood again. So that's twice in a row now. It's really disappointing. But like she says, I don't want a blood clot in my arm. I want to be able to use my arm for the rest of my life. So um, I know giving blood's good for other people, but I've got to take care of me as well. I was going to say something, but I can't remember what. I have got a backup of visit when I can speak. I do have a backup of videos. Um, I think I might have explained this before. I've got to go through what I've, what I've recorded. And it would be a bit of a shame to uh, just delete them. Because I want the videos to be, you know, chirpy and happy. But I still want them to be real life. I don't want anything unrealistic. I mean, when I have a down day, I have a down day. So I just put on a bit of hand cream. Um... And I want to show that because I am human, but I don't want them to be moany and criticising and bleh. So, um, so there may be some videos that come after this one that don't seem in sync or you think, hang on a minute, didn't she do that before the last video? And it will be like that. There will be some, but you know, I've got so much, so many hours of footage, I might as well use it. So some, some of it's going to be like, mm -hmm. But hopefully still amusing. Um, and also, I know what I was going to say. I'm going to do a little bit of journaling. I watch uh, another YouTube video um, lady. She's really sweet. And she does journaling. But I wanted to make it a little bit more artistic and arty. Um, and write my feelings down. Not all of it's for people to see. But it's a good therapy. And I've got to get creative again. I'm writing again, which is brilliant. I'm going to be doing some writing again in a minute. Uh, now that I'm not going out, so um, I shall use that time constructively. But I also want to do some journaling, but I've got to find myself a nice book, and I'm going to put put some artwork in there and some poems. And I don't particularly write poetry very well, but that doesn't matter, does it? Um, and then just make it really pretty and attractive. It's just for my eyes only. I'll show you what I'm doing. I won't show you all of it. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to do that and. Hopefully it'll be very therapeutic for me. I'm going to put photographs in there and match.com people in there, disguised. <laughs> but I'm just going to use my brain power and my artistic side and just a bit like scrapbooking, but not. I never got into scrapbooking. But I'm going to do some journaling and I'm going to do it. They're going to be typewritten, it's going to be handwritten, it's going to be drawn, it's going to be photocopies, drawn on photocopies, there's going to be glitter. And there's going to be all pretty things. I mean, it's like I've got, I mean, I've got the ticket when I went and saw Margaret Atwood 
live at the dome um and i've got the brian cox um ticket when i went and saw them him sorry um so they're, they're the sort of thing you you don't they just sit in a drawer and i've got a signed sir ian mckellen um theater stub as well and they're the things i'm going to put in there as well just um just to keep them safe they're just sitting in the bottom of a drawer so i might as well do that hadn't i just all the stuff i do Wish me luck with that one. It's going to be about that thick, probably. But, you know, it's like a diary, isn't it? It's ongoing. It doesn't finish. But I'm going to finish there and see how this pans out. And, um, yeah, videos are going to start going back up again if I can get back into my recording and if I can organise and sort out what I've got. I've got hours. It's going to take me hours. Um, and whether I die of boredom whilst doing it. But who knows? Hopefully not. So yeah, it's like this birthday card I got from my sister. Excuse me. I thought I kept it because it really made me laugh. It's a um, Tasmanian devil because I used to be really into Taz. That's a Tasmanian. That's Taz there. Um, and when we went to Australia, we saw real Tasmanian devils, and they they go they do go red when they get angry. Their their white nozzle goes red. Um, and their ears and she got me this and it's a Tasmanian devil in a dress because do you like my dress look it's got pockets which I absolutely love so that's going to go in my journal because literally it's just sitting on top of the picture where I can see it or maybe I should just put it in the frame I just really like it anyway I'm leaving it there it's got really dark look Thunder and lightning didn't come in, but, you know, who's to say it's not going to come in later? I've eaten loads. That tandoori chicken was bloody lovely. Not tandoori. Chicken ticker. It's lovely. It was dry and... Mm -mm -mm. And that's only 142 calories. Go me! And that's for the whole takeout. And Angie had had a couple of pieces, so... Yeah, nice. And because it was chicken breast, it's something like 20... No, 42 grams oh, what have I done with it 42 grams of protein I don't know what I've done with it ooh, ooh, ooh. 24 24.2 grams of protein and 179 calories but it wasn't 179 calories because it wasn't the whole takeout but I just put 179 because it boosts the figures right <laughs> right 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 I'm going I'm going I've told you my secret <laughs> I shall catch you guys um, maybe next week with an old video. And you're going to go, huh? Morning. Overnight oats. It's a bit stodgy. I think because I added the two knots of powder in there, it's made it a bit thick. Tastes all right though. It's a bit chewy. I think I prefer a little bit um, less stodgy. I'm glad I've made that into four because I'm not going to finish that. Probably half of that. Part of me wanted to go. Because that's what I thought I'd be doing. I'm going to say the blueberries make it, except for I've just dropped it all over the floor. Pick that up before I stamp it in the carpet. Twenty-five minute rule. 
Right. Yeah, I'm done with that. Um, that's all right. It's going to take me longer. I might have to end up, I'll end up taking that to work with me. So, back to work, five days. Probably won't be doing any filming. Probably not. Anything exciting happening? I'm going to free, see my friend Jenny Rowe in a, her one-woman play that she's written on Saturday. Taking my friend Sandy from The Wimps. Um... Sunday thought I was doing something, I can't remember, well, apart, apart from working, but well, I can't remember. I'm doing something Sunday. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get on and uh, organise myself with getting things together to start journaling. The first, most important thing is to get the book. Or the notepad. I want it sort of like, um, a, you know, a book size. A, not A4, smaller than A4. So a a3? No, that's bigger. A5. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're all right, those oats, but too much. I've got to go and make the shake, make the sandwiches, and then I'm off. So, next time, hopefully.